Hey everyone. Uh, okay. Stop. Stop. <laughs> thank. Thank. All right. <laughs> All right. Stop. It's uh, Mustache Pat. No, it's actually James. That's, that's my name. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I made Free Fall. Um, thanks. So, we have the whole session here. Um, <clears throat> I think I kind of started it. I like found this loop online. It was this. It's really cool. Um, this is like without any of the effects on it, and uh, I don't know. It felt really festive. It was really cool. It felt kind of goofy at the time. Like it totally kind of made this beat like with no seriousness at all, no expectations. Just kind of. It was like the first thing I made when I moved into my new apartment. And, um, I don't know, maybe some of you who like have a studio set up, you like that feeling of like rebuilding your setup and like making something new in your setup. I found this thing too. Which is like a, it's kind of like a snare, kind of like a marching snare drum. That's how it originally sounded. It sounds like, you know, it reminds me of some, like, little kids, like, in those, like, old wars and stuff. I immediately laid down the kick, because I just heard that right off the bat. snare not the snare I use like RC20 went right for a preset the snare buzz is like unbeatable it's like the perfect sound I needed um, that's my hi-hat Something special I like to do with my hi-hats is, uh, first I'll compress it, I'll like squash the heck out of it, which, uh, it can mess with the dynamic a little bit, but it's not a huge deal if you like to do some more stuff after. Um, my EQing is kind of all over the place for this, I'm not really going to explain it because I don't even know what I did. Uh, but something I like to do is I like to put a gate on my hi-hat to make it like tighter. Um, without the gate, it's kind of like, it's just too widespread, like it doesn't feel like that tight hip-hop sound I want. So I do a gate and that like does wonders for it. It also like gets rid of that excess noise that you can get when you like compress something really hard. And um, yeah, I was really feeling that. And, uh, it starts feeling like a beat now. I put some keys in. Where are they at? Rot her the keys. And I freaking love these keys. Here. And um. Alright, so yeah, my laptop's kind of old, so things take a while, 
Um, I use the Arturia Profit, which is like an amazing tool. <laughs> Pretty much the beat, really, doesn't change that much. Um, then I kind of come in with vocals. Where the heck are my vocals, man? For the vocals, I kind of had like a, I had like a low one. And then I had a high one going with it too. Um, if I could find it. And I did that like three times. It's kind of make it big. This is like a Juno. So it's actually this Juno emulator. I really love it. Sounds exactly like a Juno synth. I wish I had a Juno synth. And, uh, you can like mess with the chorus and stuff like that. I did a lot to this thing. Uh, I use this thing again. I use this LFO tool, which kind of like. It can create chops for you without you having to manually do it. So that's it. Without it, it's just like straight. Um, compressor. I use the Logic Stock Spreader. I love it. And the, it creates this like cool phasing thing. And for the ending of the chorus, everyone always tells me about this uh, little sample. They like, um, I basically just took a part of the the chorus and then I just made it repeat. I like chopped it up. These, oh my gosh, these are the dankest things. I've ever feasted my eyes on. Very good quarantine snack. Yeah, so first thing you hear in the bridge is like this weird piano. Literally the name of the track is Weird Piano. I had this like chatter thing that I found on Omnisphere. It sounded like people talking really fast. But mixed with like some like shards of crystals or something crazy, I don't know. Sorry, I just paused because I got a text on my computer. No, I'm uh, we're trying to see like if we could not pay rent for a month because this virus stuff is like putting a lot of people out of work. Uh, when I hear this, I think of like a spin-off of, like, Luigi's Mansion. And, uh, kind of fades out. I don't even know my own damn song. Alright. Shit. I'm stuck in free fall. I'm like six feet tall. No, I'm actually like five eight. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and hydrated and healthy and civil. Um, I hope you like my quarantine mustache. It might be a long-term mustache. I haven't decided yet, but. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know if I should do more. Uh, working on a ton of stuff that's coming, kind of been put on hold because of everything going on. But like, once all this stuff blows over, like, and everyone is, is safe and assured, um, I have a lot of stuff coming for you guys. So take care.